Hey guys, so right now we're going to be doing a review of the Fly Puck, which is a off-ice training puck, similar to some of the other ones that you've seen us review previously. Um, this one, we'll take a look at the way it's constructed. You can see this is one that we've been using for quite a while, so it's quite battered. Um, unlike some of the other pucks that we've reviewed um, previously, you can use this one for stick handling and shooting off the ice. But you can see that it does have a few um, chips and uh, nicks missing um, bits and sort of scratches and dents from where it's been hitting against the goalposts and stuff. But if you get it inside the net, it holds up pretty well. Uh, we've been using it on the ground as well as on shooting pads, so you can see it's quite scratched, but it does still perform very well. So taking a quick look at the way it's been constructed, you can see that it's just a solid bit of plastic. It has this um, seam over here where they've obviously co collected and, or connected these two bits of plastic to make this one um, hole. But it's, um, in terms of that, that's it. Nothing else to it. It doesn't move around like some of the other pucks that you've seen. And uh, we'll show you what this looks like on the surface over here, which is, um, you can see a synthetic ice rink. Uh, it's a sim similar material that's been used on the shooting pad, so the way this puck performs on this ma material that we're on right now is the same way that it will on your shooting pads at home. So we'll show you what that looks like and we'll also take it outside and see how it performs there. As you can see the fly puck, the one I've got here, is a 4 ounce. It comes in three different colours. The red is 4 ounces, which is lighter than your um, ice hockey puck, the normal black one. I also have a blue one over here, which is 6 ounces, which is about the same weight as your traditional hockey puck. And there's also a black one, which is probably somewhere around here. That one's 8 ounces, and that's going to be much heavier than your traditional puck. And that's used to build your arm muscles, your wrist muscles, just to um, enable you to handle the standard puck, which is much lighter, a bit easier. So I'll show you how this performs, give you some feedback, and of course we'll provide a link below where you can go and pick them up. So we've had a go with the fly pucks on the synthetic ice material, we've taken them outside onto the road and we're going to see how they perform on these surfaces over here. We've also got the 4 ounce as we said and also the 6 ounce puck here, so let's see how they get on. So having had a look at the fly puck, it is an excellent product to use for developing your stick handling skills with drills, your shooting and your passing, which is definitely important to mention because this puck can be used for everything, whereas some of the other off-ice pucks can only be used for stick handling and some are only used for shooting because they don't slide on the um, off the ice as well. But with this puck, you can use it for everything, which is what we really liked about it. If you're going to be using this puck off of the um, synthetic ice or off of the shooting pads and on the roads or in car parks, for example, it needs to be a fairly smooth surface because this puck isn't as versatile as some of the um, other off-ice pucks, for example, like the Green Biscuit. But with this puck, as we said, we like that you can use it for your stick handling and your shooting. In terms of the durability of it, we've been using ours for quite a while, and you can see that it's quite chipped and scratched. Um, if you're going to be using it to shoot into a net or your goal, for example, that is completely fine. It'll last up very well. But if it's going to be smacked against a metal like the side posts and also the walls, um, then it will tend to chip and scratch, as you can see here. As we mentioned earlier, these pucks come in 4 ounces, 6 ounces and 8 ounces, 6 ounce being the closest comparison to a traditional hockey puck, but we found using it off the ice um, and off synthetic materials and on the roads and tennis courts, the 4 ounce puck felt more like the puck that you use on the ice. Due to the um, friction that it picks up, it kind of balanced the weight out, made it feel a lot more like a puck, and also due to the way that these pucks are designed, the way they're shaped, they also felt a lot more like a puck than some of the other ones, the off-ice training pucks that we've used. This is definitely going to be a recommended product, one of those um, off-ice training must-haves. As always, we'll provide a link below to where you can go and pick yours up. And as always, click on the link in the video description to go to Hockey Tutorial to get some more information. And take care till next time.